Dr. Marcia of Move With Marcia, and let's work on core and shoulder stability on the ground. So I'm sitting and I'm going for wide-ish legged long sitting. So I really have to focus on using my core to stay upright. So if this is uncomfortable for you, you have tight hamstrings, you might need to go crisscross or get wherever you are, lean against the wall or try towel rolls under your knees. Or alternatively, if you're just not gonna make it down to the ground today, you could try this from a chair and modify wherever it doesn't make sense. So take what you want from that. I'm using some free weights, these dumbbells. You could also use kettlebells. Keep in mind that wherever you hold the kettlebell could make it easier or harder. So let's get started. First things first, let's just work on a posture check. So don't wanna be here. Bring that pelvis forward, squeezing here, toes are up. Lifting the shoulders up towards my ears, back, dropping them down as much as possible. And let's do arms on the ground and just do a quick warm up. Inhale, up and then down. So I am rotating, so palms down, palm up, palms down. Palm up. Trying to keep the posture. One more. Up and down. Now, let's do some rolls in this position. I'm rolling back. Roll forward. Keep the hands here. Let's do a little neck. Side to side. Looking to the left. Looking to the right. Ear to the right, ear to the left. Okay, lovely. Shake out some wrist. And let's clasp them together. Get a little wrist warm up in there. Some twirling. Switch directions. So just wrist circles if this just doesn't make sense to you. That's pretty much what I'm trying to do here. All right, check it out. All right, so grab your weight if you're opting for weights and let's go. So we're keeping that posture we practice. We're gonna come here, kind of not quite out to the side, not quite forward, diagonal, scaption, and do a press. Let's do eight, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight. Stay up. Now, put the left arm up and reach down to your elbow. Back up. Let's do eight. One, two, three. I make it four. There we go. Five, try to keep yourself honest. Six, seven, eight. All right, now you could lower it down. Breathe for a second. Let's switch sides. So get that bottoms up, eight rounds. Ready? One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Stay up. And dip. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, lower it down, breathe for a second. You might find one side is stronger or weaker or looser or whatever. You might find some differences. So whatever you do when you find those differences, it's not, you know, not a huge deal, just take note of it and try not to make it worse. So for me, the left side is harder to do. So that doesn't mean that when I get to the right side, I'm gonna change the weight and do heavier because then I'm just gonna make that balance 
bigger. Make sense? Round two. Let's get ready. Go for it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Stay up. Let's dip. One, let me move this. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Pull it down with control, switch sides, reset if you have to in between, and let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Stay up. Let's do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, we're going to do one more set. Ready? Back to the right side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, I did ten by accident. Oh, well, you just did ten. One, Two, three, four, five, I remember this time, six, seven, eight, back up. So that means we're going to do ten presses on this side. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's dip. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Come on down. Breathe for a second. I don't know about you, but my hip flexors actually got on fire. And so are my quads. So I'm trying to keep my legs steady. All right. So if you happen to have two free weights, cool. And I'll switch them back and forth. Let's do one more exercise. So we start at the side, side of our hips. We're still legs engaged. Nice posture. We're going to lift up here, rotate up, rotate down, and down. So if you can't get that in terms of the form, you could lean against the wall. Keep yourself honest. Let's go forward. We're just going to do one round of eight of that. Up, rotate, down, down. That's one. Two, three, four. Take a pause in between if you need to shake it out. All right, back at it. Five. Six, seven, last one, eight, oh, nice little burn in the shoulders there. 
and hopefully a little burn in the core. So depending on where you're at, that could just be a nice little off day mobility. You keep it light, you keep it cool. Maybe that's really hard for you. That is your workout. I don't really care. I'm not judging. I'm just here for you. So uh, let's just close out with a little side stretch. So you can crisscross applesauce it or sit however is comfortable. And we're just going to put the left arm down, reach up with the right, lean over, side stretch. So if you have long arms like me, you can get your elbow down and reach across pretty easily. A lot of everyone has different proportions, so maybe lean on something if you need to. I'm going to do another breath and we're switching sides. All right, up, switch sides, so right hand down, left hand reaches. So really try to push your legs so they're not really moving. The only thing that is feeling a stretch is your side, so I'm not gonna let my leg pop up, pushing it down. Come back up. Let's do right hand, left knee. Twist, don't pull, twist. And look left. Try doing your head as much as you can. Back to the middle, let's do left hand, right knee. Twist, don't pull, twist. And look over your right as much as you can. And back to center. You made it. Well done. Proud of you. Doing good. Amazing. Drop any questions or comments or concerns or happy faces and hearts down below. Be on the lookout for new uploads every Saturday. Don't forget to subscribe and also thumbs up because it really helps me. How do I know you like this? Honestly, truly, hit the thumbs up. See you next time, everyone. Bye.